Brainerd Public Schools are holding public information sessions about their long-range facilities plan. Sarah Winkleman joins us live in our Brainerd studio with more. Sarah? Thanks, Dennis. Now, tonight's session was held at Brainerd High School, where they informed voters about what to expect on the ballot come April. And for those who are voting early or absentee, they'll vote as soon as February 23rd. After years of compiling data, over 100 listening sessions to see where the district's priorities were, and several trips to the school board, the district is ready to take the next step toward the referendum. Now what we want to do is inform people of the three questions, the election process, and talk through each of the aspects and answer questions that our public has. Tonight's session focused on the changes that will be made at the Brainerd High School North and South Campus buildings, along with the Lincoln Education Center. Center. When we go to each of the buildings, we really like to focus on that particular building. Um, many of the other ones that aren't in the school buildings themselves, we will be doing an overview of the entire project. Brainerd schools are working on putting together nearly 50 other listening sessions to inform the public and give time to ask questions. We're really excited between that period and April 10th to uh, bring forth the, what we believe is the best plan for the district possible. For many attendees, tax dollars and funding are at the top of their question list. The plan is comprehensive. We believe that we've uh, uh, created a debt structure uh, that makes it uh, affordable for our taxpayers. In addition, there is now an interactive tax income calculator on the Blueprint 181 website for homeowners to find out their exact tax increase for all three questions. But in addition to that, we also have some other funding mechanisms that we're tapping into to try to reduce that voter approved amount to make it affordable for our taxpayers. When looking at the building, Brainerd schools focused on safety, space, efficiency and maintenance to come up with their final plan that will soon be in the hands of the voters for their investment of $145.8 million in the 12 district buildings. We encourage people to come in here and to ask questions and especially to vote on April 10th. Now as a reminder, the Blueprint 181 information sessions are open to anyone that would like to attend and the next one is tomorrow evening at 6.30 at Harrison Elementary. Dennis. All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd studio. A full list of dates and locations for future information sessions can be found on our website, lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.